So, hello, my name is Lorena Ramirez Lopez. My colleague Ilya Kramer is here and Ed is joining and we'll have a more involved discussion on what we want to discuss about web archiving because we believe web archiving should be for all. So to get introductions out of the way, Web Recorder is a project that it originally started in 2016 and then um, that was funded by a Mellon grant like all grants, it stops and the project split into Conifer, which is a service from Rhizome and us, the web recorder project. So we focus on providing a suite of open source tools to capture interactive websites and replay them at a later time as accurate as possible. And we build these tools um, specializing in user driven form of web archiving. So web archiving, how to capture everything is already hard. And what we would like to discuss is another problem we have in the field, and that's the format. So what is web archiving? Exactly how I mentioned, there is the definition of web archiving is the process of collecting portions of the World Wide Web, preserving the collections in an archival format, which is called the WARP, and then serving the archives for access and use. And traditional web crawler is web crawling is having a web crawler or a spider or a bot go out into the internet and grabbing all this content. And the most common crawler that we have used and know is called Paratrix. So what Web Recorder proposes and what we do is something a little bit different. And I'll pass it along to Ilya to explain what we do. Thanks, Lorena. Yes, uh, no, so just very briefly, uh, uh, web Recorder focuses on browser-based web archiving. And so the idea is that the browser itself uh, is the tool that creates web archives rather than a separate crawler uh, that runs differently. Uh, and so the idea is that this approach can be user-driven so users can choose exactly what to archive and what not to archive. Uh, it is currently mostly manual, but it can be partially automated. Uh, and our focus is on quality versus quantity. So we can create really high fidelity web archives of, of web pages. And in, in this uh, screenshot you're seeing, uh, this is a, a video or a GIF from our uh, archive web page extension, um, which allows you to do this uh, using the browser itself. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, moving on to the next slide. Uh, yeah, and so very briefly, so the, the core format uh, that is created, uh, sort of this is, this is the, the main standard is called WARC. Uh, it consists of a bunch of different records, uh, and it stores the raw HTTP uh, network traffic, both the request and response, as well as additional uh, additional kind of uh, a technical metadata. It's sort of a, a very specific uh, archival format, specifically designed to capture the HTTP network traffic. Uh, and uh, what we would like to propose, and what we're actually working on, is a new format called Web Archive Zip. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is or web archive collections. Uh, and uh, yeah, this this talk is kind of about this new format and uh, why we're creating uh, a brand new web archiving spec uh, that will uh, essentially uh, sort of uh, augment what is possible with just work files. Um, and uh, we have actually uh, there's a link to the specification here, uh, which will be has been shared in the in the chat, and so you can all uh, read it in detail, but uh, we'll summarize it very briefly, uh, uh, the goals of this uh, new specification. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, why are we doing this? Uh, so uh, some potential use cases. Uh, and uh, this has actually been summarized uh, in, in more detail uh, in a really great blog post by our colleague Ed Summers. Uh, and uh, it kind of puts this work into context. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll just kind of enumerate some of these. So traditional web archives uh, might want to, even those that aren't public might want to uh, create a way to export the data uh, or, or some of the data that they have and make it available to users in a portable way. So if you have a really large web archive that has you know terabytes or petabytes of data and you just want to export a small cross section of, of that data, uh, using the Laxi format that we're building is is sort of one one way to one way to do that. Uh, it, it also might be possible to uh, package up 
a cross section of data and, and for example, make it available for hosting on sites like WordPress, Drupal, and, and Omeka. And, and uh, uh, additionally, this format that we're building can be uh, potentially signed uh, so that there could be it could be used for evidentiary purposes. Uh, and there's a few other use cases, such as allowing memory workers to collaborate and host web archives on their own. Uh, and we're also ex extending an existing format, uh, uh, frictionless data and this uh, frictionless data package uh, to allow uh, work uh, waxy metadata to be easy to create and use in different contexts. And and so uh, this is kind of some some background for 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 the potential use cases that I would like to address. Uh, and kind of moving on to next uh, next slide. Uh, yeah, and so what is the Waxy format? Um, so the idea is is kind of uh, a fairly straightforward. So we take uh, the work files that contain just the raw uh, HTTP uh, network traffic, uh, and we also add additional stuff to make them useful. Uh, and that includes uh, the page index of pages to start browsing from uh, a full uh, URL index, uh, to make it possible to load web archives quickly uh, without loading the entire file. We also can include a full text search index and additional technical metadata and uh, descriptive metadata. Uh, we're also, uh, yeah, so that's that's currently in the spec. We're also uh, in the process of exploring other options such as screenshots, uh, encryption and proof of authenticity and uh, uh, faster access if you have multiple Waxy files uh, together and, and how to aggregate them. And also uh, if it is used with crawling to also encode crawl and, and capture logs. Uh, and yeah, uh, moving on. Uh, um, and so how are we doing this work? Uh, and uh, uh, the Waxy format was created last year uh, and uh, kind of to help further standardize this format, uh, which I received a uh, a grant uh, from the Falkland Foundation that will focus on uh, sort of three strands of work. Uh, one is uh, standardizing the format itself uh, uh, and kind of making it into kind of a, a formal spec. Um, another strand of this work is UX research and design around threat modeling uh, for browser-based web archives. So for example, if, if users are allowed to uh, create web archives in the browser, what are, what are the the things that we should be aware of uh, and, and we'll get, get back to that as well uh, and yeah we're essentially exploring uh, what the risks are and, and sort of how to make browser-based web archiving as useful and, and as safe uh, uh, and and you know for example if you archive your social media and share it with others what what should people be aware of uh, when, when doing that uh, so that will be part of the UX research and, and the final part is the implementation and integration of of some of these ideas into our existing tools, which we'll uh, just begin to do uh, towards the end of our current uh, six month grant. Uh, yeah, and so moving on. Um, and so the team working on this particular grant is uh, on the spec as myself and Ed Summers. So we're trying to work on the, on the Waxy uh, format spec and kind of make it more, more clearly defined so that all components are, are in there. Um, on the UX uh, side of things, we have uh, Kate Diem and the New Design Congress who will be leading the uh, the uh, UX research uh, around privacy preserving web archiving and, and threat modeling. And so they'll be, they'll be doing a lot of a lot of uh, outreach around that. Uh, and then finally, on the implementation will be myself and uh, Mov, who is building a uh, kind of an experimental browser uh, that works with decentralized protocols uh, such as IPFS and, and Hyper, and they'll be integrating. Uh, uh, some of this work, including our browser extension into into the Agricore browser. Um, yeah, and uh, moving on. An, an important other aspect is oh. you. you, the audience. We need users. We need use cases. We would like to interview um, you as a user if you have web archives, if you have issues, if you have complaints, because we are trying to do as much features as possible. So you can add your use cases to as an issue on GitHub, if you feel comfortable on GitHub. If you do not feel comfortable on GitHub, you can still sign up on a regular Google form 
which I will circulate here, and reach out to us to see how you can participate and be interviewed for our web archiving research, which we think is important. And I know that um, web archiving is still somewhat new for a lot of folks. So if you have general basic questions, go at it. We're happy to answer. If you have more specific questions, happy to answer those too. Yep, yeah, and we also have uh, monthly community calls where we uh, uh, have more time to uh, talk to all of you and, and answer questions. So uh, we'll share links to those as well in the future. Uh, and you can find them on, on our Twitter feed as well and on our community page. Thank you so much, Lorena and Ilya, for your presentation and all the uh, links that you shared, uh, Lorena, where people can find more information and can really join in as well. Because of course, that's, I think that's the most important for you to get, uh, get moving and get, get further. Um, I don't see any other questions still in the chat. Um, let's just see. Oh yeah, Ed is just saying we are also collecting threads that is that distributed web archives present. Very good. I know there's the Dutch uh, in, and international uh, uh, same thing like preservation headaches um, uh, by OPF, who also will uh, collect threads. Uh, so that's very good that you're doing that as well. Uh, thank you so much for your presentation. It's very clear. And um, well, on this another high note, we will go into the break. Uh, we've got 15 minutes, so you can just leave Zoom and go to Gathertown again, uh, meet up with each other, take a break, uh, have a drink, and come back in 15 minutes, because we're still not ready. We've got a lot of new, beautiful presentations waiting for you. So thank you so much, and see you in 15 minutes. Bye-bye.